Hi, I'm Kelly at Book and Paper Arts, and I have finally sorted out all of the treasure that I got in France last month. So please join me as I talk about what's new in the studio. Some of it is for sale. Some of these pieces are available as free printables. They are all charming. So please make yourself comfortable, get a cup of tea, and join me for some French brocante eye candy. If you like vintage ephemera, if you like old books and paper, altered books and journal arts, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and be sure and turn on the notifications and you will have more of them in your life. Now let's go look at the good stuff. Let's start with fabric samples. These are cards from a haberdashery. And I just want to say that it makes me very happy when I can start off my day using the word haberdashery unironically. These would have been in a dress shop. They're from 1900. And you could go in and they would show you the style of the dress or suit that you were ordering and the fabrics that could be used. This is a tweed for the coat. There's a damask silk here that would have been for the gown. And there's these perfume ads. And I'm going to go with they, these are just advertising. They're straight up product price placement. And then each one also had some feathers that would show what was going to be trimmed in the chapeau. These are 12 by 6. These are a smaller size. But you also, you still have the, the tweed here, the, the wool for the coat, the watered silk that would have been in the trim, and then some braid. And little feathers. Silk, wool, and braid. And then this one is for a wedding costume. And it's got two different kinds of ivory colored silk. These are, I'm thinking that these would have just been for selling the fabric itself. You've got au printemps, which means in the spring, and these are some fabrics for Easter. There's a little one here, here, and in Mr. Bunny's egg. And here they just went up for, for straight up adorable with a kitten. There's fabric here, 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 and here. And so I'm thinking that you could just take the swatch and say, I want seven yards of that. And they would order it for you. These cards are for sale. And I have also made high resolution scans of these. They're printable, they're on Etsy, and the link is below. Speaking of fabric, I acquired quite a bit of handmade lace. This is from a fine cotton thread. I just am so attracted to these. I think that in addition to sewing projects, they would be good in a lot of mixed media paper projects or in addition to a shabby chic handmade book cover. Or if you make altered books, these would be ideal for pockets, especially as this, this is quite wide. There is a yard and a half of this piece. There's two and a half, nearly three yards of this piece with the, the scalloped edge. And again, it's very wide. And if you're actually sewing, sewing, this is 18 yards of this handmade lace. It has a few dings. But for my money, that's just part of the story. This is a book of photos from a 1930s wedding. You have the little 
bridesmaids. And look, look at her bouquet of, of lilies. And her, her headdress. Top hat. They look pretty happy, but I do have to say that when you start looking at some of the pictures of the family, I'm not sure they were the life of the party that day. But they do have some fetching hats. So there's quite a bit of vintage fashion in this album. It does seem to have had a cover that is long gone. And the cards have these deckled edges. So there's quite a bit of vintage wedding fashion fun there. I found more lace in the box. This is also handmade. It's so handmade that it's still attached to the bobbin of silk thread. And I love that there really is a story with that. I got quite a bit of handwritten pieces. This is a book. It might have been a commonplace book or a school book. It's from 1889. And just this beautiful old handwriting. And look at that, those details. And it's purple ink. Purple ink, people. Sadly, it's, I don't think this can be saved. It's, 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 the binding has really had it. So I'm gonna give myself permission to use these pages in my own artwork and turn them into something else that will be loved. And I'm also gonna be including them in the French ephemera book boxes that I sell. Then I'm gonna take this cover and add my own papers and make a handmade book. These are legal documents called Act Notaire, which just means they're from a notary. Back in the day, if you were a secretary, you were hired for your handwriting skills. This is from 1829. And they did love a flourish back then. Little details here, some stamps. And this one's from 1816. Eighteen ten, and I include these pieces like this in the French ephemera book boxes. If you'd like to see more about those, I've got a link that describes them below this video. Also, I made high res printable scans of about twenty sheets of these handwritten pieces, and you can find those on Etsy. Check out the link. This one is actually from my own personal collection. It's from 1826, and it is a ledger. You see all these figures here? And I'm keeping it because not only is it this gorgeous old handwriting and paper, it's from a cheese shop, a cheese shop, a fromagerie. So this just makes me happy. But I also did make some scans of a few of these pages and they're in that handwritten lot if you would like to print up some of your own. You knew there was gonna be a big religious lot. You were right. I am not Catholic, but I love finding these items when I'm in France, which is traditionally a very Catholic country. And to me, these are beautiful evocations of, of craft and art and a time. Look at this. It's from 1881 and it's had it. It's a prayer book. And I am afraid that it has, has had it. But that means it gives me permission to use these papers in my own work, turn them into something else that won't just be put in the bin, 
And look at this. It has tiny angels. And it's a sort of a celestial scene, some flowers. And I'm going to take this, I think, I'm going to take that apart and then put this section in an altered book or maybe an altered pocket shrine, just the way it is. This one is also a prayer book. It's uh, L'Homme sur le Calvaire, so the soul on Calvary. And it is from 1829. It's got some dings. And you would too if you were 200 years old. Throughout, there are some holy cards. This is a morning card for this young chap. This is also a morning card. It uh, doesn't have the photo, but uh, the black border indicates that this would have been given out at a funeral. And then someone has added, added handwritten notes uh, about which prayers go to which saints on which Sunday. This is also a prayer book, and it is from 1907 and it's got celluloid covers. It was meant to look like ivory, but uh, less expensive than ivory. So celluloid, and on the cover is uh, St. Joseph and the child, the holy child. It also closes with a Bakelite hinge. Back in the day, if you were traveling, in particular, if you were on a pilgrimage, you might take this. It's called a benetier. And inside, it's basically, it's a portable holy water font. So you would have your services on the road, put your holy water in there. And it's got images of uh, Bernadette Souris at Lourdes. Also in things Bernadette and Lord, there's this protection pin. And these medals would have been put on the safety pin and then put in the inside pocket of your, your coat to keep you safe. There's one with Bernadette. There's another. And then there's this unusually shaped one. And the beautiful ladies on the other side. This is a different saint. This, this is a rosary with pink glass beads. And it has Therese, Saint Therese of the, the flowers, the little Therese. And a symbol of her, when you see her, are roses. And so this, this is a little bit unusual. I've never seen one like this. The crucifix is covered with roses on the back. And then a separate medal of Saint Therese. She's also on the linking bead. I'm not sure how to date this, but from my experience, I'm going to go with it. It is early 19th century. It's got this paper trim that's all banged up. I love this. I'm keeping this for me. It's just the, the, the detail of the work, the guilt. It's haunting. And lots and lots of holy cards. This is an exquisite lot. I found such beautiful ones. They're actually like teeny tiny paintings. Just there, some of these are lithographs. The color is exquisite. This one's from 1937. Ooh, I found one with Joan of Arc. She's kind of unusual on a holy card. I don't know why.
1912. And I have these available as uh, lots of five cards each. Or if you wanted more, you could let me know. They are also in the French ephemera box bundles. And if you like, I have printable versions of these, 150 cards on Etsy. They're high res. They are, they make gorgeous tags. And again, just little works of art. So. I also found quite a few religious medals, but the one that really is fine is this one. It's in silver, and it has the Madonna on one side and the Sacred Heart on the other. It's actually hallmarked with the name of the silversmith, which you could see if you have a jeweler's loop. It's uh, Penen and Pensee. So um, I think that's like 1910-ish. I hooted like a crazy person when I found these. These are ink blotters. In the oldie days, when you were doing a handwritten legal document or a handwritten letter, you were using ink that took a long time to dry. And you probably wanted to fold up your paper and get on with things. So you would take this piece of paper, which is very absorbent, and use it to blot your work and this would absorb the ink, and then you could get on. Traditionally, these are used for advertising. Sometimes they have gas stations on them or insurance companies, but this is a French ink blotter, so bien sûr, it has the name of a wine from Chateau de la Borde, and it's done in a champagne style. Yes, please. I am uh, going to be putting these in uh, the ephemera book boxes. So if you get one of those, you will have a blue ink blotter. And I think that segues nicely into this piece because someone used it as a handmade ink blotter. They were doing something and they just put this down and they went, Ch -ch -ch. And now you've got that backwards image of whatever it was they were writing, which is hilarious. It's got handmade paste paper covers, and I make paste paper, so that's a very fun. And it's from 1784. And I just love holding something that is that old. It's very precious. A lot of mystery. These are some uh, canceled checks. And in French, these are called quittances. And boy, is there a lot going on. You've got the letterhead. You've got stamps, stamps like that. And then you've got the stamps like that. And these also are going to be in the book boxes. And I have made printable scans of these. They're on Etsy. So if you want to go print these up, use them in backgrounds in your journal pages or other mixed media work, that's what I'm doing with them. Oh, I forgot to say that I made a printable scan of this. And it's free. It's on my website. So. You can also print up one of those and have fun with that. I also have a free printable of these, these, uh, these tickets. They came on a, a stock, a, a paper stocks, and uh, I don't know what they're tickets for, but they're cute. And you can cut those, print them up, and, and use them as embellishment. Free. Finally, also going in the book boxes are these little notebooks. This just means uh, cahier de devoir means it's a notebook for homework. These are going in the boxes and I have free 
scans of these on my website. There you go. As I've said throughout, a lot of this will be showing up in the ephemera boxes, and you can find more about that below this video. Some of the things here are mine. I'm keeping them or turning them into art. But a lot of stuff is for sale. So please check out the text below this video if you are interested in anything, and you can find more information there. If you don't see it, it may be that it's not being listed, or it may just be that I'm overwhelmed in a good way. So in that case, leave me a comment or a question or send me an email. Get in touch. Until later, au revoir and happy making.